welcome back to my channel. Can we just address that I look like an egg? I decided to tie my hair up because it needs washed and I can't be bothered washing it. And I wore it like this on holiday and I was feeling it but I don't think I'm feeling it anymore. So today I'll be doing a full face of makeup testing Avon makeup. I messaged a girl that I already know that it does Avon and I was like hey can you pick a full face of makeup out for me and I'll just pay what it costs. So she done so and this full face of makeup cost me £41. If you think about it Normally mascara is about £10, an eyeshadow palette is about £10, then you've got foundation which is like 7 and there's £27 already, so where's all your other products coming into this? So I feel like £41 is a good price for a full face of makeup. And she also chucked in a few free products for me as well. So if you do see anything that you like in this video, I'm going to leave her online store linked down below. She's currently running a competition, so if you do spend £10 or more on her Avon website and you automatically get entered into a pamper set giveaway which is worth about £35. Go down to the link if you do see anything that you like then go ahead and purchase it, try new things, what else can we do when we're in lockdown. But I feel like I've rambled quite a lot so let's just get started. So I have my bunch of goodies in this bag here and I do have a few extra products because I didn't get, I think it was two products. I didn't get within Avon so I'm just going to use my own but I haven't moisturised today and my skin is feeling so dry so I'll show you the product I'm going to use just tip it out so I have this Avon True Natra FX effective moisturiser and it's a tinted moisturiser with SPF 20 which is good because it'll protect your skin from the UV rays that are coming from the sun it's quite pale um, but I'm guessing it goes to your skin colour. I don't know. I've never used a tight moisturiser before. But as you can see it's pretty white. I can see like little particles in it so hopefully that's just the pigment. So I'm just going to put that on my face first. And if this is good I will be using this throughout summer instead of foundation. Okay so start rubbing it in. I don't know how I feel about it. Mm. I can see a slightly... <laughs> my face is so red. I can see a slightly like difference in skin tone. I feel like it's a bit too dark for me. I'm looking like very tan. See, I don't know if you can see, but the difference there. I feel like it's just a bit too dark for me. But I guess in the summer when you're tanned, it won't be that bad. It just smells like a normal moisturiser. I feel like it looks quite good, just as like a natural base. Like, I definitely would wear this in the summer. I'd obviously blend it out a wee bit more, but nothing we can do about that. Now, I'm going to bring you a bit closer just so you can see the kind of colour difference. So there's my scalp and then there's the colour there. Ignore this. I have no idea what's happening in my face, but it does give a good colour. Um, and I feel like in the summer or if you go abroad or whatever, not that you can do that right now, if you don't feel confident with your skin and you just want to put something over it just to make it look a bit more glowy and whatever, then this will definitely do. I have a lip oil let me find it so i have this avon nourishing lip oil now i've never used a lip oil um but today will be the day it looks quite cute it looks like a i was gonna say like a next lip gloss but i don't think it is but it's just pink and whatever and i don't know what it smells like either it doesn't really have a smell but let's just put it on i'm guessing it's like kind of tinted i mean it doesn't taste the nicest <laughs> but it's nourished my lips so yeah, I'll definitely be bringing this in my bag and everything when I've got dry lips, just shove it on. Now, we're moving on to primer and I have looked at all these products, I've not swatched them or whatever, but this interested me. This is the Mark, so Avon have their Avon range and then the branded range is called Mark. Um, Magic Finishing F Stick, F -S Stick. And this is in candlelight and I'm guessing it's a primer. It just looks like this. And it kind of like twists up. Hmm, I think it's like a liquid highlighter actually. But can you see that? It's like kind of glowy. So I won't be using that all over my face for primer. So it looks like I don't actually have a primer. So what I'm going to use is, I already had this. This is the Avon Set and Prep Spray. Um, I'm kind of nearly out of it, but I'm just going to use this to kind of prep my face. <laughs> So now that's all done, we can move on to foundation. And obviously I wouldn't wear a tinted moisturiser with a foundation, but I might just try the product. This is the Avon True Colour Flawless Liquid Foundation, and it's in ivory, which is the palest colour. Just looks like this. It could match me, actually. I mean, well, I think they're glad. Okay, so I just took four pumps on my hand. It looks very pink toned when it comes out and I do have kind of 
pink tones in my skin so let's just put it on my face i wonder how like full coverage or whatever it's going to be can i get a bit of tinted moisturizer it's giving me like such a bronze look i kind of actually really like it and we'll start blending i don't know if this is going to oxidize either and obviously with the tinted moisturize under it it'll kind of like it will kind of match me but if i was just as pale as normally would be i'm not too sure if it would it's just like a nice light coverage which i like in foundations because i like all my freckles and stuff shown through so it's not actually that bad but obviously if you did like a full coverage foundation i don't know if you can build it up i've just realized i never did my foundation first i should have done my eyebrows first we'll do my eyebrows after so for foundation i actually i like it um Obviously we'll need to see if it oxidises, but I like the coverage of it, it's just really light and that's what I like in a foundation. I like my base so far. So I've not got a concealer, so I'm just going to use what I normally use as a concealer. Anyway, Pro Base Longwear Foundation in 102. I'm just going to put that under my eyes and on my T-zone just to lighten my face up a wee bit. So I'm just going to pop that under my eyes. I have tried an Avon um, concealer before and I do actually quite like it, but I just prefer using foundation. The lighting might change also because I'm using natural light. So I feel like that's just brightening my face up. I look more awake and yeah. Now I think what we're going to do is that liquid highlighter. Um, I've not used a liquid highlighter in absolutely ages. So I'm not too sure whether to put it on my finger and dab on or just put it straight on my face. So I'm just going to read it again. <laughs> so it's the Mark Magic Fix and Stick and it's in this shade candlelight. I think what I'm going to do is just put it on my finger and then apply it to my cheeks. And if this is really nice, this will be really nice in the summer so you don't actually have that many powder products on your face. Okay, so I don't feel like it's working with my finger so I'm just going to put it on like that. It's taking a wee bit of my foundation up. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind and then I'm just going to blend it out on my finger. disappeared i feel like this is stuck to the foundation great so i feel like you can see a wee bit of glow but i would probably go over with a uh, powder so i can see like a wee bit of shimmer on my face but i would definitely go over with a powder after i've powdered so i didn't actually get a face powder so i'm just gonna use my own one but it's back there so i'll be right back got it this is the Premark My Perfect Colour Mattifying Powder in Porcelain. Now I'm just hoping my powder doesn't get stuck in that liquid highlighter. So I feel like my powder has definitely lightened the foundation, which is quite a good thing actually because I was feeling quite orange. The foundation definitely has settled on my skin nicely and obviously I've not used a pore fill and primer. It has definitely like sunk into my pores but... That's my fault for not actually using my proper primer. So now we're going on to bronzer. Now this scares me. This is the Avon True Go Bronzing Pearls. Pearls in medium tan. My mum literally used to use this and it scares me because I've not used like these pearls in ages. Let's just go for it. I'm just going to be gentle at the start and brush it down my neck so my neck matches my face a little bit. I kind of like it actually. This will definitely be my backup bronzer plus I feel like it'll last ages because um, it's pearl so they hold more pigment maybe. I'm really liking my base. And now we're moving on to br brush. We're moving on to brush. We're moving on to blush. I've got sun in my eye. This is the A1 True Colour Luminous Blush in Warm Honey. Now I normally go for like a really pink pink blush and um, because i like my blush being quite like hello um but this is more on the kind of it's got shimmer in it i would say it's more like a natural blush with shimmer in it which isn't that bad who knows i could fall in love with this so i'm just gonna take that on the brush oh, i feel like i've got a lot on that and just pop it on my cheeks it looks intense on the camera but it's not actually that intense it looks really nice though. I like it. And it does have a bit of glow in it, which is nice. That's really nice. I really like that. Look how rosy my cheeks look. <laughs> kind of blend it out with my bronzing brush. Okay, so now for a highlight. And obviously we put that liquid highlight. Not liquid. It's kind of like a stick highlight. Put that stick highlight on and 
I'm looking quite I can see a shimmer but it's just not what I want and I didn't get any other highlight so I'm just going to use my sleek solstice palette I do want another highlighting palette this is kind of I mean all the shades are still there but it's just a bit dusty for me but dusty is that the word chalky should we say so I'm just going to put this on over the top make it a more of a knee look there we go we're glowing again Okay, so I'm going to do my eyebrows next now. I've had a pomade from Avon before and I did like it, but this time I received a powder and a wax. This is from Mark in Style and Brow, Style, Perfect Brow Style and Duo. I like the packaging, really nice. So it just looks like this, it's got the wax and the powder. Now, I've not even used a wax, so I feel like I'm gonna put the, did I put the powder on? The powder on my brows first or the wax? Let me just see if it tells me what to do. No. I feel like I might start off by putting the wax on my brow so the powder has something to stick to. And to put the wax on my brow, I'm just going to use this brow brush that came with it. It's quite rubbish. <laughs> so I'm just going to take the wax. Quite white, actually. But let's just put this through my brows. I mean, it's definitely gripping all the hairs and I have wax my eyebrows last week and turned them so it does help that um, I actually can see the brow hairs and have a shape that I can follow okay so this brow just doesn't want to play today but that's okay it for the powder I'm just gonna take my normal eyebrow brush I'm not too sure what brand this is I got sent it it looks like it's in stylish but it's just a brow brush from there now, I normally like my eyebrows being quite bold so I'm not too sure if this is gonna live up to the regular pomade standard. I mean it's quite nice. It's quite nice for a natural brow and the wax definitely helps kind of keep the hairs in place. I mean it's not a favourite but you can definitely see my eyebrow there. I'll definitely keep this um, so when my powder runs out that I do use on my eyebrows I can actually use this but definitely prefer my uh, pomade but this will do. This brow is just not plain today. Okay, that's gonna have to do. I'm really not happy with this eyebrow today. So now moving on to eyeshadow. So this is the Avon True Perfect Wear eyeshadow called in Mocha Latte. So I'm guessing it's just gonna be a bunch of brown shades. Yeah, so just a bunch of brown shades. There's a shimmer in there. I feel like I will be able to make a decent eyeshadow look out with this. However, she has given me three other kind of cream eyeshadows to use as well. So I've got this one, which is the Show Glow Mark Glitter Stick in Flickering Gold, which is just, I'm guessing, a gold shimmer. Which just looks like that. Then we have the Glamour Stick Eyeliner. I have not used eyeliner in ages. Um, and this is in cosmic brown just a brown this is that was a really nice formula i feel like that could be used on the brows i might try a smoky eyeliner with this and it might be a whole life changing thing okay so that's a lip liner i was totally wrong so we've got these two products to try so let's just crack on with the eyeshadow so first of all i'm just going to take the actual eyeshadow quad and we'll not be using this today so i'm going to take so it's got one two three and four one it looks like a highlighting color two looks like a transition three is a eyelid shimmer and four is probably just a de deepening color a depth color who knows but i'm just going to take number two first and put that through my crease i love wearing brown shades on my eye because i've got brown eyes and i just think it kind of some pop a little bit more so that shade there is not pigmented but i prefer that because then i can build it up and then i'm going to take number four and just deepen the outer corners and then i'm also going to take another clean brush and just blend out the edges so that'll do and then i'm going to take the three on my finger and kind of place it on the outer third of my eye so it just looks like that on the outer third it's pretty but it's not like bright. I'm not overly fussed with that shimmer and I'm just going to take that brush and kind of blend out the edges. Okay and now I'm going to take the Show Glow 
gold one and just focus that on the inner part of my eye. Don't like it. It's just really chunky. I feel like maybe with a bit of well, it looks it looks alright. I feel like with maybe a bit of concealer underneath the actual base, it would look good. Um, but I'm just gonna blend it. Out. Then we're gonna try a smoky liner. I just feel like I'm gonna f the eyes up here, but we'll go with it. It's really creamy. And now we're gonna try the wing. Okay. I feel like it's quite hard to do the wing because it's not pointed, it's kind of rounded at the top. But I feel like I've done an okay job at that, so we're just gonna kind of smoke it out with some um eyeshadow now. So I'm just gonna take the eyeshadow from the Avon product and I don't know if it's gonna be dark enough, but I'm gonna take number four. Smoking it out. Can you tell I'm not a makeup artist? Well, that's something different, I guess. And I'm just going to take both of the brown shades under my lash line. And then I'm just going to take that um, same brown liner on my waterline. I feel like my eyes look massive. So I'm not going to lie, I don't like my eyeshadow at all. Um, that glitter stick, the gold one, it's just not me. Um, the brown eyeliner I actually do like, I would never use it on my top lash like lash line because I just don't do eyeliner, I'd use it on my waterline just to deepen up a wee bit. Um, and the actual palette for itself, I mean I'm not excited by it and um, it'll be good if I just want to, if I'm carrying small or carrying light I probably will take it with me but it won't be my go to and I'm very sorry to say that but I'm just not a fan. Okay, so now we're moving on to mascara. Um, this is the Volume and Length Mascara by Avon. It's called Euph Euphoric. And it's in black. I really, really like love the packaging for this. So fun. The wand is a plastic bristle wand, which I like, but there's like loads of them. And it's an okay size. So I'm just going to curl my lashes and do my mascara and hope that it makes the eyeshadow look a little, little bit better. Here we go. First thing I'm seeing it is gripping every single one of my lashes, which I like. So far, so good. So normally I do like one coat, one coat, one coat on each lash and then I go back in with a second. Okay. Really like this. Off the bat, I got a bit on my face, but we'll clear that up later. Look at my lashes. So last thing we're moving on to is lips. That lip oil is still on my lips and my lips feel absolutely amazing. So, going back to this that I thought was an eyeshadow product, but it's not. It is the Avon True Colour Glimmer Stick Lip Liner in the shade Pink Cashmere. Now you can never go wrong with a good old lip liner, especially when it's like this thin. That's the colour there. Now to put it on my lips. It's a really nice lip liner, it's really creamy, it went on really well. And it's a nice colour as well. What is happening with this lighting? Why am I so white? There you go, I think sorry that. So with the lipstick to go with that, I have this Avon lipstick in the colour Blush. Just looks like that. The colours go really well and I feel like it is kind of a satin looking lipstick. So let's just put it on and see how it applies. Mm. That is so creamy. Creamy? Creamy. And it smells really nice too. I really like that. That is definitely that's just going in my pocket. Now going on to this. This is again the Mark Prep and Set Spray. That was a big spurt at the beginning. I kind of drowned in that. Just drying off. That is the makeup complete. Now I would just leave it here but I asked you guys over on Instagram if you aren't following me already then go ahead and follow me. That's where you get to choose what's contained in my videos, what videos I do etc. But I asked you if I should just test the makeup out or should I do a wear test and I'm pretty sure 78-ish percent said do a wear test so that is what I'm going to do. So it's currently about 
12 o'clock, maybe about half 12 just now. Um, so I'm going to check back in at 5 o'clock and then I'll check in again at 10 o'clock giving the makeup 10 hours to be on my face and to see where it's at after 10 hours. So I'm just going to bring you a little bit closer to let you see how my face is looking just now. Look at these wings. <laughs> but look how like glowy my base looks. Look how nice my base actually looks. So this is what it looks like at half past 12ish. It's sinking into my pores a wee bit and I can tell you by 10 o'clock the foundation will be sunk into my smile lines but that happens with every single foundation I use. But yes, I'll see you guys at about 5 o'clock. Between then I am doing, I am checking my oil in my car, I'll be making dinner, I'll be sitting watching TV and I'll be editing this. So it's not that exciting but I mean we're in lockdown, what else can I do? So I'll see you guys at Five o'clock. So it's just after five and this is what my face is looking like. Um, there's like flecks of mascara over my face but that happens with every mascara I use. Um, the foundation is becoming really shiny on my nose because I have an oily t-zone so that's bound to happen. Um, but everything else is pretty... it's holding up. It's, there's some gathering of eyeshadow up in my crease. Um, but other than that, nothing really changed. I'll see you at 10 o'clock. So it's just gone 10 o'clock. I am absolutely knackered. I can't wait to get this makeup off my face. I forgot to say before as well, my lipstick came off because I did have lunch and obviously what satin lipstick doesn't come off when you're eating or drinking, whatever. But that's still off. For mascara, it's still like all over my face, but it's been 10 hours. The eyeshadow, look, it's all clung down here. Eyeliners. I mean, my eyes have been watering. Around my nose is like so oily. Like, it's like came off on my finger. Um, and surprisingly, it's not actually sunk into my smile lines. So I take that back. <laughs> However, I did enjoy using all these products today and I will be using some of them again um, whether it be within my everyday makeup routine or when I just feel fancy. If you did enjoy please remember to leave a massive thumbs up, comment down below if you have tried any of these products or if you're going to buy any. Don't forget Alana's link is linked down below and go and buy £10 worth of stuff to be entered in a pamper set giveaway. And if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and join our little family that we are creating here on my YouTube channel and I'll see you next Wednesday at 3pm. Bye!